there's something wrong with the wind. The wind has stopped. Maybe because the wind crystal's gone. We need to find the wind crystal. There's ghosts in my blood. That's a different one. That's the that's the better that's throw life. everything at the wall. It's real life 1930s. When better everyone was leeches. raised by a cup of coffee. Bloodletting, the cure to the common cold. <laughs> yeah, we we're here up in the friend emulator. Um, we have ghosts in our blood. There's something wrong with the wind. Uh, fucking welcome to the late Saturday dream. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean by that? Um. I think everybody in, has their own interpretation. I think that's a good thing. I am Rumi, also known as Noited. Rumi, no, oh, Rumi nice. Noid. Uh, you can call me Adam. We're doing name reveals. That's yeah. it. We I'm Martin. Decided. I go by Maru Ten. It's like the Japanese version of my name, but I spell it with a seven. The T in it would be a seven instead. I didn't realize that that's where it came from. Yeah, it's just, uh, you just roll the R. Came it's like Japan. Maruten. Maruten or Maruten. Wow, so when you said that you used to be one of those kids that was obsessed with, obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with, obsessual, 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 you were obsessual on that Asian weeb? culture. Are you trying to call me a weeb? No, just kidding. Uh, no, Chinese and a, Japanese though. I just liked Asian culture, and I liked actually Native American culture a little bit too. Yo, we were talking about watching movies. I have. Did I ever tell you I have Bruce Lee on? I think on VHS and DVD. Yeah, I loved all the. I loved martial arts stuff. We could watch one of those. Seattle Legend. Nice. Yeah. I mean, his. Uh, I guess he was buried. He's here. buried I don't here. Really yeah. Know what the deal is with that, but. But I'm a big fan. <laughs> um, he's certainly like a beautiful, graceful man. You know what I mean? Yes. One of the, one of the best to ever do yes, it. Yes, he was um, super educated in like philosophy as well as like, yeah, uh, actual martial arts. But it you wasn't all say, like the physical aspect. You could say he aspect. was like the Tony Hawk. He was a warrior and arts. a poet, and a, he elevated it to a new level. And a he was star. Like, he was kind of like the Muhammad Ali. Yes, of he Kung was a Fu. showman and like an actor and all this stuff. So he was good at a bunch of different things. I actually don't know a lot about him. I, I will be honest. I named some I people named said he's pretty after him. Some people said he was pretty pretentious, and I, I have some firsthand stories of him, like, you know. Pretentious? You know, like, people with a big chip on their shoulder, you know, that are famous, like, treating regular people like shit. Oh, kind of stories, he was just like. Especially with, like, up and coming, like, a lot of, like, you know, American people learning kung fu and stuff. You know, like, back in the day, it's like, oh, yeah, you're nothing, pretty much. Kind of attitude. He can be an asshole. I think. <clears throat> wasn't uh quentin tarantino trying to like make bruce lee out to be an asshole in his movie once upon a time in hollywood oh is bruce lee in that i haven't uh, seen yeah it i never watched it either but I'm i heard i haven't seen a lot of the quentin they made tarantino him too much stuff, of the newer stuff like did you see hateful eight guy that was quentin tarantino right mm, it sounds like it was i'm not sure actually I haven't seen it. There was I like think. there was another. I got confused because there the was tank another movie? movie. Is that the tank movie? Tank? No. Okay. No. I don't. It was like a western. I. No, think it I had don't Samuel think I saw Jackson. It. I got really confused because there was a movie called Hateful Eight, and then there was a movie called like Glorious Bastards. No, it was like Sinful Six or like something Seven, and it was like. I think it was just like a really bad clone of the other one. But yeah. I got very confused by that. Do you ever see Cloverfield? Flown footage movies? 
No. And stuff like candy. Can I haven't movies. even seen Blair Witch. Yeah, Blair Witch. I don't stuff. watch movies. I didn't really watch Blair Witch. Yeah, I haven't seen a ton of movies, but I've seen some of those like awesome. What are your favorite ones? Uh, horror movies that you've seen? Um, I'm not sure about favorites. That's always hard for me, but. Cloverfield if it counts as a horror movie it's more like sci-fi almost but it's like scary that one was cool wait that was the s- think. that came after the other one though right what was the first one Cloverfield's like a Godzilla movie but it's like in America oh, it's wait. Set, but it's like an alien was it directed by that one dude who did the Star Trek movie though um, I don't even know JD not JD uh, anyway yeah. Um, what was that big found footage movie that was like before Cloverfield, though? I think it was Blair Witch Project. No, no. It was... Um, Maybe something else. I'm not sure. Was there a sequel to Cloverfield? There actually like was. I found out. Or I wasn't sure. Like There's 10 Cloverfield Lane. And I and when that came out, I was like, is that a sequel to Cloverfield? Oh, 10. And then yeah, I didn't okay. think it was. And there was some weird stuff with like the making of it. Where, I, I can't know, in the think market, today. The I couldn't think of that guy I earlier. I haven't watched it. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't think of that guy earlier who's like this weird like like diplomat billionaire guy. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm just spacing on like, I don't know. I took, I took a Z-Quil last night and then it was probably part of it <laughs> straight up. I tried to go to bed like oh. at a decent hour and then I was like, this isn't going to work. Guess what day we're recording this on? <clears throat> oh, may the fourth be with you. Yeah. It's like Star Wars day. Cool. Yeah. I'm down. Guess what else is today? Uh, Deerhoof in Seattle. Fuck yeah. I'm not going. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Because I suck. And I didn't buy a ticket in time. I'm telling you. The that opportunity of a, a lifetime. Problem. But... It is what it is. Like I said, it would be cool. I'm going to go and meet my, my future wife. And everything's going to be fine. Deer Hoof Core. The dawn of Deer Hoof Core. Yeah, I was, um, I don't know how to tell them. I wonder if I'll get a chance to talk. I don't know. I'm just fanboying out right now. Yeah. But uh, I do have kind of a plan to make a <laughs> video series Master about plan. It's like kind of about them, but kind of about music in general. I want to talk about like, um, I want to talk about stuff like uh, basically just genres, like the like the uh, art philosophy of like genres and stuff. Yeah, maybe touch down on like the what lead what led to like the genre, like the history, how it came together, because some of them have like. A, interesting history yeah um deerhoof certainly fucking defies certain bands that created yeah and i have i have a theory about them that they're like a garage rock band that nobody ever describes them as a garage rock band but like that is kind of what they are i could agree with that um descriptor if you look at the classic, how they are the, from how San it Francisco, sounds when they which it. is like where a lot of that sound comes from. But obviously, decades later, about two or three decades later, they formed in the early '90s. But they have a lot of that, like sort of a blind melon, violet femmes, um, you know, nuggets, zombies, even. Uh, sort of sound but then people call them math rock people call them indie rock people call them I don't know they're really hard to classify though. that's kind of what I love about them in their interview 
that did at the radio station yesterday. They were like, um, I think that's the guiding principle. I think the the guy asked him what like the the uh, I don't know the program the sort of the modus operandi the guiding principle behind what the band is and Greg said that they like to do songs that are uh, they don't have any one particular mood where and they play the same okay. song on different days and it will sound have it'll evoke a different emotion each ah, time. so like kind of like a prism there's something kind of stoic about that i guess in this i don't know i don't know about the philosophy of stoicism i guess it's kind of sus but i like that the though. quietude of it I yeah because uh music definitely invokes different emotions and stuff so can enhance emotions or like make you feel a different way. So it's interesting to play with that as there's an art almost, form. You, there's almost nothing emotional about their music. Anyway, obviously I talk about Deerhoof. Well, it's like, it's like jam. Like that's why, I, yeah, I agree with the descriptor of like garage rock or like garage band sound or garage sound or whatever. Cause yeah. it's like a lot of like, not you, not the UK garage, not this new there's fangled. Like, Nice rhythm drink. and stuff. <sighs> but yeah. Have you ever listened to those Nuggets comps with like the uh, t- freaking strawberry alarm <laughs> clock and stuff? Uh, I don't know. Lipstick and peppermints and da 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 da. They did like a. I don't know. They did some parodies of that when. Okay, so when Homer was like a hippie in The Simpsons. Ooh. Did you ever see that episode where it like Maybe. flashed back and you had like the long oh, hair and shit? Yeah, I that think was I all the that. flower power shit. Yes, that's dude. That's like the real hippie shit. That's like garage rock. The shit's awesome, and it's the Nuggets comp. Uh, it was very funny when I heard that mentioned on a another podcast I was listening to. Seventies, but yeah, people from San Francisco know, you know, they know the sound. Yeah, there was the champion sound. It was like a scene. Yeah, there was like in LA, yeah, there like was like sounds. punk wars. Ooh, there's a huge history of like punk I didn't rock even. In LA. I don't even. Yeah, I don't know, but it's like I love all the genres. But yeah, so LA's got the punk and the new wave stuff, but San Francisco always had like the hippie, hippie shit. I wonder uh, actually. I wonder if the dead hung out there. They probably like lived there for all in the dead. The freaking dead. The they dead paid. hung out there. The dead totally hung out there. Yep. It's where they manufactured all the LSD right off of Hayden yep. Ashbury. Goblin mode. Welcome to Background Sounds with Rumi and Mara. <laughs> Keep going. I was gonna like. Damn. Okay, fine. That's cool. I'll just edit keep the podcast for the first time. What? Edit it? Why? It was background sounds. Well, if we if we meander into silence, it's gonna become an inevitability. Background sounds. But I think I might have saved us. <laughs> So I was trying to get a listicle of listic uh listicle. So I would love to do the Tisticle. the ice the iceberg iceberg lettuce and then the tier list tier list. But maybe that's an idea for a future episode. Tier list tier list. So it's Can, like other people's tier lists tier lists. Yeah, like what are the best tier lists? Actually, that's just that's a cal. You know what? That's a Calvin ball right there. I think I yeah, think I want to make this episode the Calvin ball episode. Quite frankly, it kind of ended up into Calvin ball territory. That's a Calvin ball. That's a Calvin ball, right? There. Okay, let me ask Plus you first. Calvin let me ball. switch it around. What is your iceberg? Iceberg. I could ask you what's your tier list. Tier list. Or I could ask you what your iceberg iceberg is. 
but either way. The iceberg iceberg is harder got, for me to wrap my mind around you got yourself, as a concept. You got yourself a uh, a veritable Calvin ball right there. <laughs> Doesn't seem possible. It's like two infinities. Two infinities and beyond. You have an infinity on an infinity. I guess. Is that a Calvin ball? Okay, so let's let's start from the beginning here. I'll explain the principles of Calvin ball. But first, there we go. Oh. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna bleep that out. Don't do that. No farts, no burps. That'll be that'll be a fun little Not gem safe. of knowledge. This is a safe place. That all of friendship emulators started with a fart, but you don't get to hear the fart. Nope. So Calvin Ball. That's just a legend. A Calvin Ball is like any game that you invent, right? So, for me, like, I made oh. this song a long time ago called Whatever the Opposite, and that became, like, a thought exercise thing. Okay. And it's something that you can apply as a little mental game to anything. Like, give me, give me like, anything. Oh, like, okay. like, like, an emotion, like, an environment, like, your favorite, like, food or actor. And then, like, the opposite car. of that. It's like the opposite of Pepsi. Well, that one's really easy. What's that? RC Cola. All right. All right. All right. Give me, okay, feed me something else. Give me something. Give me something that's uh, hard to work with. The opposite or like the lower grade? Like the th- the third party or not the, like the. That's, that's, that's sounding like an entirely new game of Calvin Ball to me. That's like the. Like the what we have at home? Yeah, like the like grocery have, outlet versus like the okay. superstore. What's, what's the bargain bin version of X? Usually yeah. involves like an, a short algebra equation where you, you place yeah. X into That's the... That's not as fun. Algebra? I want an example of well, like the first... About it I want an example of the first thing that you were saying. So it's like the opposite of a dragon. Or what's like... Oh, I'll I'm going to give you a topic. I can give you I'm going to give you a topic okay. and then you give me the Calvin can, ball. Any word, basically. You, give it, you convert it into... You use the Calvin ball equation to convert it and tell me the result. I'll put it into so my Calvin ball machine. So here we go. What if I gave you... A waterfall. Uh, and I said, whatever the opposite of a waterfall is, would be a sand dune. A sand dune. Or okay, a, so it's maybe like the a, opposite. A desert tun- is a tundra. What's the difference between a desert tundra and a tundra? What do you What do you call so, an arid? But it's not sandy. Oh. It's just like hard. Is there a name for that? Uh, wasteland, not wasteland. Uh, a uh, hinterlands. That's like an old school name for it, I guess. Actually, I'm not exactly sure. It's kind of on the tip of my mind. Because I feel like even just like sand, uh, an area where like nothing really lives, like a sandy desert with like dunes, is almost too close to a waterfall because it has those qualities of a. Uh, so I'd say like yeah, that one of those arid deserts of water. that has like very little sand and it's kind of just dry earth. Like, like is it a just like a machination Valley. of our minds that fire is the opposite of water? When really, like you kind of highlighted the reality that just like dry stuff where there's not a lot of humidity is more the opposite of water than like lava. Yeah, but the dry like, or something. It is. What if it was like a lava fall? The dryer something waterfall. is the more susceptible it is to fire, I guess. Kind of, but it's like. Then again, gasoline is a liquid, so it's not true. Nothing is true in a vacuum. This is what I'm saying. It's like my motto recently. It's all in your mind. So yeah, whatever the opposite, and then there's what we have at home. So I'll, I'll, okay. let's let's switch it around. I'll give you. Um, you said dragon earlier. What's the yeah. uh, What's the we have a dragon at home? Dragon D's nuts. <laughs> God. 
it's over. We're Gotti. never doing this again. How much time? Gadim. Look what you just did. Well, I know who's going to work that one out. You have no idea. You think you know, but you have no idea. All I have is a name. The true life of Jay-Z. Yeah. Slam dunk. Okay, but answer the question, though. What's the bargain bin version? Of a dragon. Of a dragon. Yeah, basically. Oh, I have an answer already right off the top An iguana. I was going to say wyvern. Because wyvern, okay. isn't a wyvern like kind yeah, of a dragon? Yeah, if it was still a mythical thing. What is a wyvern? Um, It's like a dragon, but it has no limbs. It's like a snake with wings. And oh, some yeah, other, yeah. it's kind of like a lesser little. They have wyverns in a uh, dragon warrior. I played like dragon a warrior snake one. As opposed to a salamander or something. I don't know. So, yeah. Can we, okay, what about, uh, <laughs> you said got him? <laughs> uh, Twice. <laughs> what, oh, tell me, tell me what your tier list, tier list is then. This is another Calvin um, Ball. And then there was another Calvin Ball that I came up with the other, oh yeah, my favorite Calvin Ball. What my thing about X is. So my thing about. So my thing about X. Give me. Okay. Feed me. Feed me a topic like improv. Um, Improv topic me. Gundam. So my thing about. I don't know a lot about Gundam. I'll try though. So my thing about Gundam is. uh, That you don't know a lot about it. I can't really make. You see, you have to know about the thing to make the joke about it. My thing about I deconstructed Gundam is why? Why did they take so long to move? <laughs> I heard. I actually heard that the uh, the real life. You know that like thing in Japan that's like the biggest Gundam. Oh yeah. Uh, the biggest actual. I've seen those. It has the I've seen the videos. Record. It's like they like speed up the videos because it moves so slowly. Oh, I guess. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I kind of the first video I watched, I think, did say that, and then like I watched some of the ones that were sped up. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, "Oh, this is really cool." You don't. Yeah, I can't imagine it being very. It's uh, still like uh, if you're just sitting there admiring the view. It's slowly moving. It's still not. It's still awesome to like the scale of it in general. I wouldn't even expect them to make it move in the first place. Just having a life-size one itself is like already an achievement, I guess. If it doesn't move, it's not really Gundam. Yeah, they're trying to make but it's like pre-programmed and stuff, and it needs like a stand to hold it. It can't like just uh, balance itself up. It has a stand, really? Pretty sure. Just like hidden, Wait, sort of. That's not animatronic. Still animatronic. It just like the whole thing has a base around it. It has like the. All right, we need like a new floors. category then for like free standing, standing on its own two feet. You know, yeah, like giant. These giant guns have had it too good for too long. Yeah. They need to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just a cool tourist thing maybe or or like you know spectacle like they have like um, i mean it's in honor it's in honor things. of it too it's I a think huge I saw thing it on twitch once dinner theater in japan with like uh basically mm-hmm. gundams <laughs> or whatever like they have like uh techno music and like robots and stuff i don't sounds know it's cool it sounds really cool right robots we should go to japan pretty awesome one day i mean maybe might be good. Okay. Um, so my thing about tier lists is some stuff is subjective. Yeah. What you can't just right. Yeah. You can't just say that. Even if your your tier list could be different than somebody else's tier list. What are, What are you like the international standards of? It's standards just a general idea. Standardization. 
nation. That's like your station. opinion, bro, or whatever the kids say these days. Apparently, there is this organization in the UK called like the Official Standards Org or something. The Gold Standard. And they have all of these things where, like, I think it might come from, like, the Dutch East India Company or something like that. Like, out of, Dutchy. like, that whole... To the left-hand side? No, that's the West Indian... <laughs> that's the West Indian Company. Ah. Which apparently was a real thing. Um, but, yeah, they have all of these standards for, like, testing the quality of all products. Like, there's, like, a... Uh, I remember seeing a diagram that was like the specific like recognized way to uh, measure like a thing of tea, like make a cup of tea, right? And it was for like testing the uh, the quality of a uh, a black tea and its strength and like the amount of caffeine in it. And Oh, kind of like, like a food standard thing yeah but it was like, like put a, this official? amount of milk. It, the funny thing about it was that they would told you to put milk mm. in the cup and okay. put it in the cup like before you put the tea in and like i think you heat the milk up. i don't even know oh uh, like a specific it's like, like room temperature milk or something chronological order it was a funny thing considering like yeah okay this the is temperature a matters organization beforehand. that has like this huge database of like all these rules for how to prepare tea or like measure, manufacture like wood or whatever. Yeah, um, but it's it was like also funny form. because of like the milk thing. <laughs> it was like yeah, they, my they, milk has they, to be just right. Well, I mean, I feel like most people in England do they use goat ever scoff at the idea of milk in their tea. Oh, really? I don't know. I kind of like. Do but like Thai was, iced tea and stuff. I think has milk and it's so good. I think that was the uh, uh, the joke, maybe that it was like kind of outdated in that sense. I don't know. <clears throat> Dude, tea and milk combo yeah, kind of British drinks people, like are the standardized shit. Like sweet drinks that have like tea and milk usually are just like really good. I haven't had a bubble tea in a while. I used to work at a place. Yeah, oh, yeah, pretty much um, since then. I the one I used one. to go to was awesome. I I was going there more regularly, and then it got like firebombed or something. So, what? Yeah, like the buildings all burned down. Oh the yeah, whole block, and then yeah, they had to yes, get rebuilt. They probably might reopen, but that was just unfortunate. Ooh, there's a lot of. That was good though. There's some chains too. There's like a bubble tea chains out here. Yeah. But yeah, I got kind nice. of pain in my chest. Ate a lot of pie. Cherry pie. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's Calvin Ball. Um, Bounce the Calvin Ball. Yeah, it started as like a whole thing, but that's like a story for the fables, you know? Okay. That's like a whole other story. Should we but pass the Calvin ball? Pass the Calvin ball to who? Just put who it do you think away is for be a second. Our in our legacy. Put it away. In I'll our never le- put my Calvin ball away. Well, just like since we're off the topic of Calvin ball, or this is the Calvin ball episode. I want it to be the Calvin ball episode, kind of. Okay. But I mean, well, if it's a Calvin Ball episode, then me saying that it shouldn't be the Calvin Ball episode is the Calvin Ball of the Calvin Ball episode. I would say that's the In Calvin Ball we have at home. That's even better. We yep. uh, No, is that an okay? Okay, so if you can't think of like an improv suggestion, just use Calvin Ball. Okay. As a suggestion. Exactly. So it's what, like a safety net. So what for is imp- what is the budget? What do we we have Calvin Ball at home? What is that like? Oh God! It's, it's like kind of an inception bargain bargain situation. Bin Calvin Ball. What's like a game that like Jumanji? This is getting into the territory of like time travel and multiverse theory. No, it's, it's just, like I'm playing just, 
4 d chess. Basically, the prompt is, is what's another game that's like a made-up game from a media property that's like kind of shittier than Calvin Ball? Flubber. Flubber's Flubber's not really a game. It's more of like a toy. Oh, Hungry Hungry Hippos. That's a real game. <laughs> That's There's a real little game, balls. Though. There's little pebbles. There's a carbon balls. Okay. <coughs> what about, wait, what about XFL? Remember the XFL? What's that? <laughs> XFL? Um, it's for... like the Extreme Football League or something. Oh. It was like um, oh. wrestling, but football. I think it was owned by Vince McMahon, like literally. Did you ever see any toys when you were growing up that were like, you make it, you have like a cast out of clay that was like, maybe it was WWE endorsed too. And you would like put the clay cast in, it would make a person and then bake it in the oven to make like a figure. There were WWE stars? Something like that. Like you can make a wrestler. Like bake him in the oven. No, yeah, there like was all Stretch kinds Armstrong. of stuff in the. Did you 90s, ever have Stretch Armstrong? Nineties. I heard about him. No, I didn't have him. I think that was was it a superhero or a toy first? I, I don't know. I think it was a toy. Yeah, you just From stretch his arms and then they stretch back. Yeah, Fantastic Four. Those things probably had like lead in them or something. Oh yeah, Gumby back in the day. Yo, that's he was the, actually an that's eraser. The deep dark secret of Gumby is that he was made of pure lead. It was uh, activated plutonium. Whoa, or indium. For real? Or cadmium? Dude, I, you, if you told me that with a straight face, plutonium. Which plutonium. you kind of did. Did I already say plutonium? Uranium, plutonium. Either, I don't know. Either one, I'm freaking out. I don't know. I, I don't know. You. If you told me you were like a Gumby expert and that that's what he was made of, like I, don't I would know. actually. I've seen some you. Gumbies back in the day. Um, I'm gonna marathon Gumby. I really have been meaning to do it for years now, but Gumby's like the movie is kind of like a stop motion. There's a movie. I thought there was like movies and stuff. Is there a movie? I swear there is. Unless the Gumby it's Gumby movie. I you think you're right. It might be from like the '80s. Yeah, there was accompanying movies and stuff, but it was like a real life thing. It was kind of like Funko Pops back in the day. If you think about it, there was people collected Gumby as like a thing in troll dolls, the troll dolls with the hair. Oh, yeah. And you like brush the hair and stuff. All those 90s things, Furbies, like this capitalism strikes again and again and again <clears throat> in a vicious cycle over and over. Pogs. We had, Furbies are so no, horrific. No, no, there's just like sets of things, you know. There's just like sets of things in capitalism. Then you collect them all and you have to collect them Beanie all. Beanie Babies Pokemon. is a really bad one. Beanie Babies, they yeah. They still sell and Beanie Babies there was like, like the CVS There was like an Olympic collection like a, like near when I was born, like 1995. And uh, yeah, uh, they were super rare. And if you don't open them, then they're like extra money. I don't think they're. And I was allowed to open them and stuff. So oh, it's like defeats they had the packaging? purpose. Yeah, so you keep them in the packaging because it's like collectability. The ones that I see in the store now don't even have stuff. packages. And I feel like most of them didn't. And that's why. And they didn't stop producing them. So they never got more rare. That's how it. They used to be like really collectible or something. They, I mean. I've seen videos about this because like there's this one guy on YouTube who offers advice about video game collecting. Yeah. And there's, I know there's just like tons of random people who do this, but the guy that I saw um, was kind of just saying like, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't do it. Don't, don't collect co video games. Don't collect video. Like you don't expect, I mean, do it for fun, but don't like expect a lot of it and he referenced beanie babies as like one of the worst like trends in like millions of people thinking they were gonna like be valuable 
Yeah, just like yeah. they're gonna have this collection. Because like, like I wanted to open them, and then like uh, my parents at the time like didn't want me to open them because they wanted it to be pristine or whatever, and and it's like counterintuitive. It's supposed to be a stuffed animal for kids to play with. Speaking Which of WWE, I have um, still in the original packaging, but also my house has kind of been like damaged by like nicotine smoke and shit. Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's like, I can show it to you later. Oh. It's so funny. It's like, it has like a button that you press on him or something where he says, Oh, shit. yeah. And there's like this advertisement for like, you can Budweiser. Like, no. <laughs> you can like go on the internet and like upload your own whatever. What the- like, it was like, at the dawn of like it was almost like Netscape days where it was like go to WWW into it or something. It's really awesome. I've looked it up oh, on nice. eBay a bunch because so I you could make him say different stuff or something. It was like super complicated. I don't think you even like recorded your own stuff. It was just like you downloaded new MP3s from their website and put yeah, it Yeah, to just like show off the I functionality. It would be impossible to get to work now with modern operating I'm systems. Sure I'm sure those websites are just not. But supported. I'm pretty sure he still has the original ones. Anyway. It hasn't um, accrued any more value. It's, it hasn't risen in value that particular. Yeah. And like I've I've found like random Pokemon cards around and been like, hey, is this, it's like worth like two dollars or something. I don't know. There's like in video yeah, games. Yeah, I thought and some of my old cards were worth something, and it's like no, I could buy those singles for like two or three bucks. I used to have. Straight Some up. of them might be a little bit more. If you sold all of them, yeah, like you can make a little tiny bit. But it's, it's the um, saddest thing ever. My Pokemon cards got stolen from me. In second yeah, grade. that's the story. Like people always had some rare shit, and then they lost it. I they also got stolen had, or something. Yeah, no, I mean, a lot worth of people a sell their shit. Yeah, or you got I rid of I it. Sold some. Did I sell? I, I must have not sold knowing video games that it would if they be. weren't around anymore, but they also probably just broke. Yeah, just like not knowing it would like be a super yeah huge collector's my item. My Super Nintendo, I I wish that I had up. all my old NES games and stuff. That would be amazing if those just like lasted all the way until now. Like just having that huge collection already without having to collect anything. I want to. Uh, I still have Zelda. It just happens to be inside one of my broken NESs. I get the feeling one of my NESs is not actually broken, though. I have, like, I think five or maybe six broken game systems that I can, like, tinker around with now. It's pretty dope. Maybe somebody could fix them. It's pretty fire. That's fire dope on the dance floor. And I could figure out how to fix them myself. The Game Gear is going to be fun game gear is awesome was there a screen uh, for a game gear is probably hella expensive was there a sonic game it's sega of course there was a sonic game huh yeah i think they had like I two think, or three i believe when i had a game gear i had a sonic game that was with it and something else i'm not sure i saw one guy on the internet going through the entire game gear catalog like playing all the games and i was like you're crazy because the game gear has like a super small screen like famously it has like um apparently it was really good for the time though a bit it was like kind a of bad big. aspect ratio a lot well, of games were at- like too zoomed in kind of uh, yeah i think i had black bars on uh the right and left or something like uh yeah it wasn't vertical black it bars. wasn't three four or something yeah I but i don't know it was like it was interesting. I don't know. It just seemed like it had different games. My dream is to play... There's else. a game called Fantasy Star Adventures on the Game Gear, which is like... Is there anything that's console locked to Game Gear that would be like actually worth getting just to play it? Console locked? Like not Like it's emulatable? not on anything else. Like, oh, that... So was it, were any of the Sonic games like only on that Game Gear? Um, well, they're ports. They're like they're, they're still, all ports. 
that I are think, on the Game Gear. Yeah, and then like you know, like a Game Boy. Oh, so it's just a portable version. version of like games that they could have elsewhere. Yeah, the Game Gear uh, version. It's a lot like Game like Boy the Advance Switch or something. Or, where, not really, but uh, or yeah, I don't know. There okay. isn't. Hmm. It's weird because there isn't like maybe it was like the it was almost like the PSP of the Sega con- was there a Sega console still it when was Game Gear during was out? the time of the Genesis I think it might have come out before the Genesis which would be Master System era but um the weird thing that I'm realizing is that they never even attempted to port Final Fantasy or Fantasy Star to the handheld handheld <laughs> consoles they just did uh original titles for game gear specifically well no i mean there's final fantasy Ad- adventures i think on game boy which is like game boy oh my god there's also that mario land there's a lot oh of my weird, gosh like, series. there's uh yeah the mario rpgs games oh my god uh like there's like a warp through time one that was on DS and there was ones for Game Boy Advance where they're like, it's kind of like Paper Mario turn-based combat, but also Final Fantasy, but Wait, also... so they actually made Mario RPG sequels? Like the yes, Seven there's, Stars? Yes, there's like this The first franchise. one was on Super Nintendo. There's this certain spin-off franchise. Have you played the first one? On Super, Seven Star Saga or whatever. Uh maybe that I don't one know. was actually made by Square Enix. Oh wow! It's I really good that. too. Yeah, I used to play it back in the day. I had a copy. Those are awesome. I have a really distinct memory of. Um, I love those. We used to go when the Super Sonics Games. were still around. We used to go when the season opened at like six a.m. to to downtown Seattle to like go to the box office and buy the tickets. We did it for like two, two or three years in a row. And I have this really ingrained memory of like waking up at like five thirty six in the morning to go down to Seattle with my family. And I was like playing Super Mario RPG. And I don't remember like what I was doing. I didn't really finish the game or anything, but that's some hardcore nostalgia memories. And then Paper Mario, I didn't know that Mario RPG yeah. on DS was a thing though. But there I was did play like the Paper this, Mario. There was a few of them, and one of them was like Warp in Time or something similar. I don't know exactly, but uh, I forget the title. But it was like where aliens were attacking, and you had to like combo stuff and time. I think. There was like a lot of like quick command stuff and like there was baby Mario and Luigi with you and you could change forms like you could change formations with them and like use different moves like roll around with each other and do like acrobatic moves to like move around the map and stuff and I don't that know sounds, the battles were like intricate that sounds kind of like um it was. That sounds kind of like the original one, but with like. I wish Paper that Mario. I remembered the name and stuff so I could just. Paper Mario is a little different because it. it has the whole gimmick of like 2D. It's like. Yeah. It's really comedic it's and there's like the quote unquote so. audience who's like there the whole time. Yeah. So it's this like is Final play. Fantasy Adventures. I was looking it up because I wanted to make. This is the original Game Boy. That's and when I it came out when it was black and white. There's like so some platform with those games. If you if you plug that into a color, does it get its color? Um, yeah, but it's just like a distinct palette that because it came out before the Game Boy Color, I think. Yeah, so it has limited colors. But I'd love to play those games and then uh, Mario Land. But yeah, it's interesting to note that like, Mario well, no, Land. maybe it's just Super a Mario later Land generation on thing. Super Mario Land on Sega uh, Game Gear? Uh, no, Fantasy Star. 
on Game Gear, Fantasy Star Adventures on Game Gear. Oh. And then Final Fantasy Adventures on Game Boy, the first Game oh, Boy. Oh, okay. And then Super Mario Land. On Game Boy. Which is like, what is it, like a Metroidvania type game or something? Like an early, because I know the Mario, Mario Land. Land. No, Mario Land, which Mario is Land. like, it's like the original Mario Land on Wasn't Game Boy. Wasn't that still side scroll and like level base and everything? It you go through been. the world, and it just has like Yoshi. How is it different than Mario? Then? Does it have Yoshi? Uh, Mario Land, Super Mario Land. I never played it. I couldn't tell you. Mm-hmm. I'll look it up real quick. Final Fantasy Adventures and Super Mario Land. I'm pretty sure it was for the. Uh, I think Super Mario Delora Land Ryan. was like the first one that had um, Yoshi in it, or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that it's was a Game a, Boy game. That was a yeah, that was a game I really wanted to have but never did. And then uh I played the one with Yoshi on like N sixty four or something or Super Nintendo. And I never had those consoles. And it was always really fun. Anyway, the Fantasy mm-hmm. Star Adventures game on Game Gear has one of the best songs it's like one of my favorite Ooh. video game songs soundtrack. of all time i haven't listened to the whole soundtrack yet but it's on a zofar's dom- zofar domain z-o-p-h-a-r it's a great resource for anyone looking for um video game music and you can contribute on his patreon or their patreon mario and luigi Two partners in time. What is that? Is that an R- is that the RPG game you're talking about? Yeah. And then there was like previous games that were like that, but it's kind of like a further iteration of it. Before I get into that, I'd love to just go back and play the Seven Star Saga on Super Nintendo. I recently watched a playthrough on Twitch. It was fun. But yeah. Yeah, there's partners in town. We oh, got there's... Calvin Ball. Do you want to do you want to tell me what your tier list tier list would be? Actually, I did want to kind of get into that. It's a stupid funny idea. Calvin Ball tier list? Well, you say? it's a Calvin Ball. It's a Calvin Ball. Uh, um uh I lost my Calvin ball do 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 I don't know I don't know like how to conceptualize Calvin balls that fast let alone have enough to formulate a tier list of all the Calvin balls that could exist no, no, not not for Calvin Ball. It's a tier list, tier list. Tier so list, the, tier list. The items on the tier list are tier lists. So these are people's tier lists that they put together? Just any tier list that you can it, think of. It doesn't have to exist. Like it doesn't have to be one that you've seen before. Tier list of like tools, the tier list of cars versus the tier list of uh, dinosaurs. Versus what, the like, tier okay, list. Okay, what would be like the most, what was the tier list that you would want to see the most? And then you put that on S tier, basically. The tier list. Oh, that kind of makes more sense. The tier list I would like to see most to least. Okay. Okay. Tier list. An F tier tier list would be like, for me, an F tier tier list would oh be my like, God. like, politicians. Best. Best top 40 songs. <laughs> Best presidents. I'm a hipster. Best presidents. Best presidents. That's no. an F tier. No, because presidents are interesting. In None the of them have been that, good enough. That's well, the whole thing. With it's the, interesting how, to study F-tier. them in the sense that they are tools. Yeah, to I think they all have gotten. We call capital. I think they have all gotten an F tier so far on average. 
So that's why I give, yeah, give them an F tier. Yeah, but to see a tier list? Okay, yeah. I see what you mean. It would not be a very, very, it wouldn't be a very of entertaining tier list. The ethics alone. Because you would get everyone. Yeah. You want you want maximum entertainment in your tier list. I'm going to say that might be a D. I was going to say C. President tier list. C tier. On average. Dinosaurs. Easy B for me. I would say, yeah, like... Um, I don't know anything about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs alone too. is just one... Family, that, that would know? be like an educational experience. That's not for like me. soft shell. That's not like crustaceans or anything like that. That's just dinosaurs, you know, saurians or whatever. <coughs> right? It's okay, like its own category. What about sea and enemy? Or what? What do you call? What are all like, those like in sea just invertebrates? Dinosaurs. Or no, invertebrates. Uh, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking dinosaurs, that. Dinosaurs. You see, wait. F- so what? Did, what did you rate dinosaurs? I have a, f- I have a f- kind of phobia. Because we're going like to do the average. And jellyfish. What do I rate what? The dinosaur on D- tier dinosaur list. Dinosaur is a B for me. Because I'm not like. I would rate not dinosaurs. super interested. I'm not like a fan of dinosaurs. But I'd be interested to learn about them. You know? I would say a B is fair. So that we could call that B. Um, all right. What about. This is a shared tier list. What about. Um, tier list. Double tier list dragon. I'm trying to think Days. of something that you might not rate very high. Cheese. Like, uh, do you not like cheese? Um, cheese I would say cheese is like a, a C. It's going to be an A for me. It's in the middle. I would love to see a cheer- cheese tier list. I love cheese so much. I'm just thinking about what my favorite types of cheese are right now. I'm putting them all, I'm doing the Pepe Silvia. Oh, yeah. I'm like putting them all I can in definitely categories. enjoy I some cheese, but. I'm a fan. For a tier list, that's just not call that me, entertaining call me for me. Fan. Cheese fan. It just makes me hungry. And it's addicting anyway. So 720. It's like, cheese fan 360. I would say three, everything in moderation. I mean, uh, C, everything in moderation. All right, cheese, ice so cream. Watch out. Ice cream? Ice mm. cream tier list. C or B. I don't know. Yeah, I'd go B A, with that too. Whatever. Ice cream, it's so, like, everybody loves ice cream at some point. Mm. I would say it's an A or something. Maybe. Mm. But there can be multiple things that in, like, each tier, right? Or is it overall? No, yeah, no. You put, you put as many things in each tier as you want. Yeah. Okay, what about television actors they have to have appeared in television oh not my just god movies. i don't know that many people you know by name but uh yeah but it's, imagine uh, there's yourself like as a obvious viewer. people like i'd probably rate that like a television D. it's not actors. a very good tier list yeah it's just like everybody talks about actors that's a d what about dumb. um countries countries that's a c because in America we don't know that much, so and it starts with C. Yeah, but you personally, what do you rate it? I think if there is a tier list of countries, what does that mean? Well, it's going to be which long, one's better? First of all, it's going to be really long because there's a lot of countries. Yeah, but there that's like a definitive number. And then you're, t- what are you rating them on? It's too long. Like I can't rate it an F. That's a really complicated tier list, actually, because you're rating the entire country. Yeah, it's not no, like, maybe you're it's not rating a cheese. Oh, you're not yeah. rating an inanimate object. You're zooming out, and yeah, you're rating those are the entire like people country. You're dealing with. I didn't even consider that part of it's it. It's like zoomed out. It's Wait, like rating a galaxy. Like there's everything in well, this it's planet. Pro- it's really problematic, you don't even know. isn't it? Like, wouldn't it be problematic to pretty like, much put any country in a low tier what about, for any reason? Um, what about elements in the periodic table of elements? Mr. Beast does a tier list of countries, and he puts North Korea in the F tier, and it's what sparks World War Three. Yeah, he just set it <laughs> off because he had a he had a bigger I think, audience. I'm pretty than sure us. he doesn't do. He never even did tier lists or anything like no. that. That's like bottom rung. Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> I'm not sure. That's like React content. It's like a different 
Say what you will about Mr. Beast. At least he's um I I don't know, like in in real life doing things kind of. And not just Yeah, he is all there. I mean I say like, that as someone who literally puts themselves on a stream and reacts to like internet videos, but whatever. Uh, he he's not a tier list content creator, is my point. I don't know why I made a Mr. Beast joke. <laughs> Because it would, he has that kind of sway. He's a big celebrity. If he if he did a tier list rating, well, North Korea has their own internet. They probably wouldn't see it. They wouldn't see Mr. Beast. Yeah, I I'm gonna put tier list, country tier list, in the F tier. I'm afraid to do. I'm afraid it's to ask. Too hard to rate. What the iceberg iceberg would be. Iceberg, I iceberg. Like everyone, that's hard for my mind to wrap around. Well, the way I'm thinking about it is like everyone's on personal, like, de- you know how the, the iceberg works with like you start in the shallow waters and you get into the more obscure And then shit. it's like, oh, you didn't even know that beneath the surface that you can actually see well, the, the iceberg the is massive. Well, the deeper you go, the more like, obs- it's like the more forbidden knowledge type shit. Yeah, the stuff that you wouldn't talk about or something. Or be well, out I mean, with like the stuff that where like you have to know somebody a long time before you'd even know that about them or well, something. That's what I'm saying is like each person's personalized yeah, let's tell, let's, like what? iceberg. It would just get into like personal yeah, trauma like or what? something. It's supposed yeah. to be like internet. That's like what spook, you would say. Spook stuff, but uh, honestly, well, dude, I've if seen you did stuff it with your own per yeah, if we I've did it with our own personal that, like, life, that'd be too traumatized far. me. You know what I mean? Like that's some spooky shit. Oh, you shit. mean like rabbit holes? Like you go down rabbit holes of like a certain topic on the or, internet and it gets creepy. Or you go into like a weird like, like conspiracies or something just where for fun. People are spamming videos and you watch the wrong video. Oh yeah. Well, I don't go to those spaces because they're scary. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't except even know. when I was trying to download Tor and I, go it on was the, literally like a tried- chat room for like a band or I don't know. I was trying to go on tour and like uh, just go on the deep web server browser or something and just do like safe websites that were already looked up. Oh, so just you for could, fun. Uh, but then my phone would get bricked and stuff. So it's like, what the fuck? Get bricked? What does that even mean? Like it just stopped working after I was just messing around with it with that shit because it's not protected. Huh. I Were you know. doing it to like of like uh, using it like a VPN? Uh, no, it's just like to access websites that I guess weren't on the normal internet searchable. Some of them are, but I guess some are like not or something. Okay. Not like I didn't want to go on any weird ones, but I don't know. I was just messing around with it. Oh shit, are you fucking I guess user? like they crack down on all those like websites or something that people used to cite. Like there was like well known websites or something that were rumored like where you could like just buy a rocket launcher or like have a hitman or something. Oh like the And Silk like Road they got mirrored stuff. and all this stuff. Yeah. Just That's crazy. Where, there's a famous uh, it just, story. Like, that was like a creepy pasta to me when I found out about the Deep that web. is a creep. And then I tried to mess around with like, oh, I want to search like a website where like somebody had some art that's like, I don't know, some weird old school style website or something weird that like they just decided to put on the deep web instead because somebody's smart enough to like put that, make a website there or something. There's that's not like there's weird, a famous though. story of or, like, some, some guy. There's some like what that are like people put like. Like it's creepy stuff that's only there, but it's not real. It's like creepy pasta on purpose. So it's like, it's interesting. I feel like there's, there's like a game like that. There's games, yeah. Um, <sighs> where you sad read Satan, and then there's worlds. There's like online. there's like puzzles. And no, but stuff. I was gonna, I was gonna tell you there's it's um, creepy though. There's too. a story about a guy. That. I think it was like it wasn't Martin Screlly, the guy. 
that guy who like bought the Wu Tang record and is like oh, the pharmaceutical. It was some guy, that guy who got me banned like on Facebook. That he got you banned? No, I'm just kidding. I got a temporary ban because I said the word bitch. I spelled the word bitch. That's the reason. But I said he's a bitch. I said Martin Scully's a bitch. Okay. And then like Facebook gave me like a, almost a month. Where like I had like limited use of my account. I couldn't I couldn't like like or comment or anything. Weird. And stuff. They like partially restricted it. Anyway, so it was this guy, like Martin Screlly or something. He was like some some like up and coming new money billionaire pharma tech guy or something. And he got like blackmailed or like he tried to order a hitman or something and uh yeah i guess it didn't he got like extorted or he got like his bitcoin wallet stolen or there's like twenty thousand dollars but it was like all fake it's like of course you can't get a fucking hitman on the dark web what are you thinking yeah it's like really not that protected it's just it's, like it's it seems like scary it's like people are playing off likely of that. that it's just some random dude in like a click farm trying to get twenty thousand fucking dollars from you like what are you wow come on man <laughs> yeah but yeah um the shit's creepy the the iceberg thing doesn't have to be about creepy like internet shit though. Like that, a lot of them are it's just because it gets dark. You can make an iceberg bottom. about fucking flamenco music if you wanted to. You know, you can make an iceberg about okay. bossa nova. That'd be cool, actually. Yeah, the deeper you go, it's like towards actually a the bossa origin. nova. And if we're gonna play you know, the iceberg, iceberg, the bossa nova iceberg would be the iceberg's just a metaphor. Down the iceberg. Of the iceberg, iceberg. What about an iceberg lettuce? On that lettuce. Hmm. <laughs> the origin of lettuce. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Iceberg lettuce. What about that? Wait, How about what that you, one? What? Iceberg of lettuce. The iceberg, iceberg of lettuce. The origins of lettuce. The deeper lettuce you go down. Lettuce is too specific, though. I would do leafy what are you greens, about? maybe. Okay. No, because lettuce, where did lettuce come from? What's before, I think there's what literally only lettuce? like three kinds what was of before plants. lettuce? What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to find the sweet spot. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so uh, fucking. Um, <laughs> so fucking done. Um, there's literally only like three types of leafy greens that are actually classified as lettuce. Like that'd be a very. I short know, iceberg. but everything has like an evolutionary tree. Also, so the I'm saying leafy greens. There might be more I guess, lettuces. No, I you know. can still start from lettuce. These days, they it's probably like you could start from human and then go back in time, two thousand years, and then when God created us from yeah, but then you're, the woman's you're talking rib, about stuff that isn't edible, and we wouldn't even know how it tastes. No, we could talk about like the historical evidence of like what was before lettuce. Like, did we farm it out? From its old original form to the day to form it is today. The we iceberg, farm lettuce, the iceberg of iceberg the lettuce. lettuce. Okay, okay, I because it's iceberg lettuce. I am picking up what you're putting down. Come on, but in order to play this game by its rules, I have to ask then, where would you place the iceberg, or no, where would you place F-tier. the lettuce iceberg? F tier. But no, it's not a tier list. It's an iceberg. Okay. So it's the, the it's lettuce a question is of how the obscure top. is it? The lettuce is the very top, to the tippy top of the iceberg. Because and why then the though? origins all the way back in time of its. A it's a question of like how origin. obscure is lettuce in general. It's a question of obscurity. Obscurity. Yeah. Lettuce isn't obscure. Are you serious? What's not obscure about lettuce? I mean, it's 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 tiny bit obscure. Like, I feel like basic lettuce. people don't eat salads. 
you know, or like I low bet. quality people or whatever you want to say. The Poor kind of people, people that don't eat salads, like me. Poor people don't eat salad. You want to go to the arcade? I don't know. Maybe. Look at that timestamp. Heck yeah. I'm fucking done with you. It's time.